In this video, I will show you how I create such textures for my daily work in under 10 minutes. If you take a look at right side, you can see that this texture is actually based on few layers with R simple diffuse material. You can see how it's working step by step. Now I want to show you how I will create such color base. I got this model from R Studio and R pipeline is PBR plus hand paint. So first of all, I need to create a really good color base as fast as possible. In Substance Library, I will just search for Simple Diffuse, I already have it. Then let's change material to base color and let's drag Simple Diffuse to the layers. And in one second, I got such nice result. Here we have all the right settings for light and values. But one setting that I prefer to tweak is this curvature opacity, I will just reduce it. This way I will get color base really soft and I like it very much, especially for future hand paint. I don't like textures with such visible curvature, so let's just remove it. In base color we can change the entire main color. Let's shift the hue to colder color, so closer to red. This color is fine for me, also I can change the color for ambient occlusion. I prefer to make it really saturated and maybe a bit brighter. Here we have settings for the base light, also for the secondary light, usually they all are correct by default. This one could be really useful for the metal, but also it can work as an additional light. So let's just drag it on top, like this, and change the color of it. Only then we can reduce the opacity, and with this light we can get even more volume. Looks pretty fun. We can also control top and bottom gradient in this plugin, let's go to the gradient and here we can change the color or brightness of this gradient, I will make it a bit more saturated and darker. This is really useful for the characters and to be honest for any objects. And if you want you can fake brush strokes, you can pick any brush pattern you want, they could be volumetric. It's useful if you have really simple 3D models, but I will talk about this later, let's just remove it for now. This color base is fine, maybe I will make it just a bit brighter. Then all we need is to press Ctrl C, Ctrl B on this layer, right click on it, add a black mask, right click once again and add color selection based on the D map. Let's pick rock here, here we have an option to change the preset, let's change it to rock and let's make it just a bit darker. I will reduce curvature here as well. Now I don't want to leave color base like this, I want to add more color variations on this skin. So let's press Ctrl C, Ctrl V on the first layer. Same process here, but this time we will right click on it and add paint. Go back to simple diffuse, let's change it to red. And with paint mode we can paint the mouth just like this. I don't use the tablet by the way, only for this video. Let's copy this layer once again, but this time I will make it warmer and a bit brighter. I will remove this paint, add another one. And now I want to separate the biceps, because it's just an interesting muscle, we also have some focus on it. We can achieve a really interesting result by separating the entire muscle with different color. Of course we need to reduce the opacity here. I think I will also add the gradient here on the head because it our main focal point. I will separate these shapes on the head and I think on the back as well. So this entire big back muscle. I want to copy this layer once again, but this time I will add gradient on the ribs. I will change the color to something purple and darker. I will paint here on these ribs pretty roughly. You can make your brush smaller, then press X to switch to the black color and define the mask a bit more. If you want, press X once again to paint with white color. Of course we need to reduce opacity here just to add slight variation. And last, really funny touch, I want to add a bigger color gradient from the bottom. Let's copy this layer, remove the paint, make it visible, add a generator and we need to add 3D linear gradient. Increase the contrast of it, invert it, now we have it in the bottom and just reduce the opacity. You can see this process is so fast that I don't even need to name these layers guys. With paint tool you can press on 4 and for example pick by objects to pick this eye. Then press on 1 to switch back to the paint. I want to go back to the rock layer and add darker gradient from the bottom. 
You can see this rock surface is pretty simple without any patterns and if you really want you can add brush rocks on top. Let's enable it. By default these brush rocks will be volumetric. They will have curvature and ambient occlusion and you can change the size, you can change the number. This way you can fake any materials like clay or you can use any custom brush you want. Let's enable use custom brush stroke and in the bottom we can pick any noise from the substance or just import your custom one. We can try such spots. It will be really noisy at first. If you want less information on the brush strokes you can enable use brush stroke effects. And this way we will also have the color. I really like this result. For example here we can change the opacity or change the highlight color of the brush strokes. Also guys, check this out. You can enable any other preset like gold or human skin or for example bronze. Now we have this result that already looks pretty good and if you use this plugin you won't miss with any values. Of course you can create such result on your own, we tried to make it and it took us between 25 and 40 layers. Of course we don't want to spend this time on adding all these layers, changing the settings and waiting for the loading time. Also in Simple Diffuse it's really hard to create this brush strokes option. I would say that with these parameters in Substance it's nearly impossible because it was made in Substance Designer. Guys right now every artist in our studio uses this plugin and it literally saves us lots of time and money. I will leave the link to Simple Diffuse in the video description. And for some people who have experience in Substance and who was asking what's the difference between this and other plugins. This plugin will give you all the correct values and lightning because it was made from the professional artist and for the other artist. People who watch my tutorials for a long time know that I use different versions of other plugins. I created two of them just to get some right values because the initial settings wasn't good. Here I have this color based material so other plugin let's just drag it on top and guys, you can see I added lots of layers in order to achieve good result, but it still doesn't look as good as Simple Diffuse. You can see this plugin and guys, it's not even a comparison. Simple Diffuse is just way better. We created the best version and also we added few options that other plugins don't have. If you want to export the texture, you go to File, Export Textures, click on this material, Uncheck everything here, select only base color, go to global settings and here choose output path. That's all for this video, I will also leave the links to discord and instagram, you can see other people's result with simple diffuse. And guys if you want to get mentioned on my instagram stories, just post your results, write your instagram nickname or just tag me. That's all for this one, see you in the next video.